Emergent Game Technologies has been behind more than 300 titles that have shipped or are currently in development. At Rebellion, we've been making games for over 16 years. Some of the titles we've worked on include The Simpsons Game, Aliens vs Predator, Star Wars Battlefront, Renegade Squadron and Sniper Elite. Recently you've probably heard of titles such as Race Driver Grid, Colin McRae Dirt, or upcoming titles such as Operation Flashpoint, Dragon Rising. The Spellforce and Spellforce 2 and launched recently this spring Battleforge, the online real-time strategy game. We're excited about DX11 because it will enable us to deliver a higher quality visual experience for the gamer. One of the things that D311 offers that we're particularly excited about is compute shaders. Uh, compute shaders are a way of running general purpose programming on your GPU. Other features such as full tessellation support will allow us to add detail to models not seen before. Honestly, I think that our customers are going to be excited about the, the accessibility of parallel rendering. Um, in addition to parallel rendering, which is going to enable performance gains for our customers, I think our customers are going to be excited about a general purpose um, API for GPU work. DirectX 11 is different from previous APIs because it allows us to make better looking games, uh, but that actually run faster. DX11 is different from previous APIs because it allows developers to unlock the next generation of processing hardware, both on GPU and the CPU side, with its multi-threading capabilities. DirectX 11 brings compute shading into the 3D API, so we have better and easier access to the graphics hardware power. So we're adding post-processing effects, shadow map filtering, ambient occlusion, nicer explosions, using compute shaders into the game. At Rebellion, we're supporting DirectX 11 because we think gamers want better graphics, more special effects, and games to run faster, just look better. We're supporting DX11 because we think it's a big step forward in graphical capabilities. Naturally, we want our in-house Ego technology to be at the cutting edge of development. We think many other developers will soon be making the same jump as us from DX9 to DX11. We believe developers throughout the world will adopt DirectX 11 very rapidly because it's got support on Windows Vista and on Windows 7 and that makes for a very wide user base. I would say D311 is the rendering API of the future. I mean, it's got the latest features and it's got the uh, broad market penetration that you really need. We've been very happy and had good results with uh, having AMD as our technology partner and we're looking forward to work closely together with AMD to introduce DirectX 11 and Battleforge.